Hello everybody, and welcome to Outer Wilds. You're probably gonna see some parallels between this and the Outer Worlds that I played a while ago, but this is not, alright? Well, I don't know what it is, you know? I've barely seen anything about it. So let's just get into it. Mm-hmm. Loading. I don't think I activated subtitles. <sighs> Boink. Gun! I have nothing. There's our pilot back from the pre-launch camp out in stars. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are, leaving on your first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. All systems go. Let's well, glad you're excited, but remember, if you wreck this ship, I'm not building you a new one. I'm not made of lightweight rintry grade aluminum alloys, you know, or aluminium, or however you want to pronounce it. Anyways, you'll need to get the launch codes from Hornfields at the observatory before you can lift off. Just bring those here once you've said your goodbyes or whatever. Roast marshmallow. Hold! Release! What's up, bud? Talk to Micah? Mika? Wow, that was just like the time the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. Re you'll, you'll be okay flying the big one, right? <laughs> no, you can only see. You can only have to see. Was I supposed to land on these things? Forgot. I need to jump.
<laughs> Add it to the death counter. Permadeath run. Ah, oh, my permadeath run is over. Wait! <laughs> that completely takes away- Oh my god, that destroys my entire run. Yeah, okay, wake up. There. Whatever. Um, requires launch codes. You, old man, give me the codes. Ready if you are. Fine. I can't believe I died. Also, this game has a day night cycle. That's cool. Hey, it's you. Slate said you're blasting off your ship today. I'm really excited for the sea launch. Aren't you going? I'm still going. Better be. It's been forever since anyone launched into space. I really, really want to see it. Like, really bad. You tried my model's shit? Okay. Let's see how far I can go. Well, it's going pretty far. Oh, it's still going. Still going. Still going. No. I'm doing the reverse thrusters. It's coming back. Oh, is it? Is it? What the heck? Oh, there it is. There we go. <laughs> Alright, see ya. My ship! No! <laughs> I died in like the first five minutes. What's up, Cordy? Hey, yo, hatchling. Have you been leaving us adventure amongst the stars? When you return, let's you, me, and Gossen open up a bottle of the good stuff. Only seeking adventure amongst the stars. Actually, other stars are far too late. Gal delicious sap wine. An iron stomach is that a mark of a true Harthian, my friend? Our hardy hunter-gatherer lifestyle stems from the trial and error, in which I mean our ancestors survived eating a lot of bad things. Hmm. Hey bud. You're actually blasting off in that thing, huh? I don't explode as often anymore. I know it's between the space program and like it's small Rocket, things seem to burn to the ground around here more than they used to. Alright, uncle. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know, I don't think they should be allowing me to mess around with a satellite. Jump. I didn't really jump. Looking at the guys here or the sun? Sun it is. It's launch day, huh? How I'm gonna miss you. How's gonna miss you? Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. In the platform those ships launched from was against the old. Isn't it about time you built new ones, less vulnerable ones? The big tree in the village would be a perfect choice. I wouldn't mind helping the space program just say the word. It's flammable! Oh, you didn't realize? Don't worry, it's held up for launch so far. It'll definitely be fine for you. Do 
you know what comes underneath rockets? I'll get in shooting if I talk to everyone. Hello there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving in the crater today. If you meet any of the other travelers up there, remind them to take care of their instruments, won't you? Say gonna hide before I leave. Is there a way I can movement? Nope. I don't have the ability to sneak in. This, this makes you move slower. Tefra, Elena, Tefra. Hello, astronaut. Hello, astronaut. Favorite troublemaker. I wanted to play hide and seek, but Maureen. When those borrow their signal scope, because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal? Mm. Sorry, you can't today. What the heck? They're just. It's not like a harmonica. Is moving further and further away. So that's what I was hearing about the sun. So pretty. Oh god, I'm so hungry. Spinal? No. Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, saying so help you pass the time. We're leaving critter. Guess we'll be a little busy without you in here. The big water plant can be steep. That's where I'll go. Oh my god. One time after the rest of the village will have to, one time after the rest of the village had left sleep. There was just two of us sitting around the campfire. Dad will tell me that the fish trip to the Only that they're shipped easily enough in the way. They can't see too far down when they come upon look at the water is. I guess too dark. They ever wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decide to tell people in the sun down the road. I understand. Goodbye. You just say that. Unless you talk by yourself, you can. And I would listen to your story. There you go. I'm not talking to you. You get one dialogue option, alright? That's it. Give me two dialogue options, I'm leaving. Danger! Inside this fence is a pocket, pocket of ghost matter. A strange and dangerous substance that's invisible to naked eye. The good news is that you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is unequivocally... Uniquely, sorry. Painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hear yourself fooling around. Thing if I keep taking pictures like this, got to do it 30 frames per second. All right, aim camera. Here we go. 
Wait, no, it's not even plugged in. I'm sorry. Spam! Hey, bud. Hi, astronaut. You know, this patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Austin said it used to be bigger than when they were hatchling. Cause ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. If there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm growing up, ghost matter is awesome. It'll burn the heck out of you. Yeah, her touching it hurts so bad that it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not walking in any space, okay? Sounds bad and painful. Can I detect it? I can't even see it sometimes. God, I'm hungry. After this episode, I'm really gonna just eat myself a sandwich. Over there. Nice. That's pretty. Point. Mm. Okay. Oh, we are in a crater. Alright, that's cool. I love this. Hey, if I go and use this and I point directly towards this way. Cool. This whole game is so atmospheric and I love it. God, I might not be able to do a whole episode. I'm so hungry. What are you looking for? The moon? Um, oh, hello, astronaut. This is a good weather for lunch, right? Lucky. Any good sounds from space today? There are. My signal scope is set to Outer World Ventures frequency, so I'm listening to travel mode music. Last night I heard Rebex Bonjo and Panjo Bonjo coming from the Brittle Hollow. I hope that means they're safe. I can different planets too. It depends on the time of day or night it is. It's different planets are in the sky at different times. The signal scopes are cool. That is pretty cool. Can I detect something from... Wait, what does that do? Awesome. I'm sorry, there's just so much stuff to do. Or that I can do. Ugh. Yeah. Oh wait, that's my ship! Ow! Is there a way I could... Get over there? I guess by going the opposite way...
Boingy, 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 boingy. What's up, bud? Hey, thought I might see you before the big launch. Nerves getting better of you? Yeah, right, alright. You weren't nervous either, okay. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you and me in a vastly endless... endlessness of space. Really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry about more about the ship if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic slate at least fixed the retro rockets. So listen, there's a satellite which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment. Set up down in the zero G cave, and I need and in need of repairs. Looking for last minute in zero G practice, head down to the lift in, in the cave, or don't. So long as you're confident that ship repairs and you can make ship repairs in space. Nah, I'm the real deal. Activate lift. Why is it? This is not zero G. It's just low G. Low. Zero G cave. I can't make it. R. Oh yeah, that's much better. In space, you don't have to be up or down or anything. Return suit. That was fun. They can fix their own mess. <laughs> I'm going to space, baby. I fixed one thing. You what? Yep, only one thing. Boing. 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 Now I don't know how to swim, so that means instant death if I go in there. And I guess this is a permadeath thing. After Wild Ventures found members clockwise from Taha. Okay. Hey, bud. Oh, hey, hey, this is my favorite astronaut. T launch day is the last uh, day at last, huh, buddy? It's translator tool, inaugural flag tool. No. Am I having a stroke? I'm so excited, it's making me nauseous. Just think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want, anywhere you are. 
The two of us put a lot of hours in inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh jeez, do not break it. Ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. I'm not even the one going to space. How are you feeling? <laughs> Good. <laughs> You've only been waiting for this day since we were hatchlings. I can't wait to see you all your training pay off. So what's the dirt? You hear uh, launch codes? Yeah, I get that you're dying to head out into space, but seriously, you gotta see the statue before you go. It's an amazing find. Make me wish we could see what real live Nomai look like. Well, I guess this is as close as we'll ever get. Check it out. Look at. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. The first fully intact statue ever found. You know, and for now, for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez. Got a little carried away there. Go on. You have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there, you hear? Ooh. Not a single crack. That's weird for statues that were lost to time. Boink! Come on. This is a cat toy. <laughs> It's like it's a precious artifact. It must never be rolled. <laughs> Watch closely. These balls move on their own. They immediately actually stopped moving. The ground is perfectly level. So what do you think causes the spooky motion? Me. The answer is the moon. As it orbits our planet, the added rock's gravity pulls on objects from different directions. In fact, it's pulling on you right now. So if I just... <gasps> they move on their own. <laughs> they, they, they move on their own. Really? The gravity of our moon is that powerful? Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. Our moon, referring to this moon on this planet. Ew, what is it? Anglerfish? This anglerfish specimen was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the dark ramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. Ooh. I'm a menace. To society. A menace to society. <laughs> Alright. What's that? Ooh, spooky. I guess I'll be the third object. This object go. Hold. Oh, <gasps> you look away from it. And I can control where it goes. All right, tell me about it. The strange rock moving around its grotto appears to react to conscious observation. Level-headed among us rem realize that there must be some sort of optical illusion at play, but. Gabro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means. Whatever is is actually happening, both sides of the bay agrees its effect is extremely creepy. Yes, but why does it switch? Creepy. Ooh, very creepy. Can I wall run? Is that why my head tilts? View map. You are here. Okay. Mm -mm. 
are these actually stars or like if I point at this star right here this this one right here is that like an actual one is that like an actual star star of my life oops Wrong button Hey, bud. Hornfell. Oh, there you are. I just finished my pre-flight observation. The local coordinates are good. Time to get our newest astronaut off the ground. And you bought our first astronaut ever equipped with the Nomai translator tool. I confess I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. Ready equipped and unravel the mysteries of Nomai. You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me what's your plan once you're in space. Um... I'm gonna wing it. I'm planning to follow the, in footsteps of Feldspar and the greater Outer World Ventures traditions, are you? I might have guessed. Well, see if you can't put that translator tool of yours to good use while you're out there. Well then, looks like all's left is to send you off. All, all in all, it's a fine day for launch. I'm ready to die in space. I'm not one for superstition, but isn't that kind of a, unlucky to say before launch? I, <laughs> Why is this guy frozen? <laughs> He's just like... Anyway, here's the launch coast. Try not to worry too much. Our ship is every bit as safe as the slate could be persuaded to make it. Best of luck out there. Let me know if I can help you with anything. Alright. Ah! Ah! Nope, wrong. I got the one. No. But those are actually what I did. Those are actually the acts I did. It recorded him? Wait, is this like a safe location? Like, not even gonna lie, that was exactly what I did. And all the dumb stuff I did as well. I got the launch code. Hey, hey, so do you get a girl like a memory statue? Oh, the statue was doing what? His eyes open and you saw images of your own memories and glowing lights flashing out. You mean like a hallucination? It's no offense, but are you okay to launch? Like medically speaking? No, don't worry about it. You should sit down and take it easy. I hate for anything bad to happen if you try to launch one. I'm feeling good. But hey, when you are ready, you can make the most of our translator tool. I can't believe it. It's all grown up. We're moving through space already. Why are you sideways? For sure, though. I'm glad you're the only one carrying it and not, like, Rebeck. It'd fall on it, for sure. So if you do a short trip back, just get- Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> no! Well, I guess we'll figure out what that statue does now. Did I just die? A little bad dream or something? You still look half asleep with <laughs> the negativity of being deceased. I know it's tradition to sleep on our under the stars, but before launch, let's ask you to make it a bit jumpy. Oh, it's this kind of game. Alright, wait. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please like button, comment down below, and subscribe when you're here. Make sure to ring the notification bell to be notified of new upcoming videos. It helps a lot. And yeah, I will see you guys in another episode. Love you guys. Bye.